So peeps, it's your boy Dessa Beast playing uh, the PS Plus game of March 2019. What remains of Edith Finch? That is the game. I've played up until the uh, house. Well, when you get in the house, obviously, I just crawled through the cat flap. Uh, garage is in there. Been doing a bit of exploring, but not too much. Just explored this general area. That's uh, about it, really. So let's get into it. So. From what I can deduce from the current situation is that, oh nice reflective surface, GG. Anyway, what I can deduce is that this house was abandoned in January, January of 2010 here, don't know exactly when. That's from what I can deduce so far, so this has been vacant, well let's see when the game came out, 2017, so that's seven years this uh, house has been vacant. Let's just turn the lights on if we can. The power had been turned off the night we oh, left. Okay. I, I, okay, power's turned off. Alright. Like how after balls. Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. I can fully imagine that your cat would get sick of eating nothing, well, that your cat wouldn't get sick of eating nothing but salmon, but man, the cannery, work, just working there, just all this salmon and shit, you know, there's a lot of food here, enough to live on for a while. Nothing in the house looked abnormal, there was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. I'd have to agree with you there. Let's see if we can open up the door. Actually, no, we won't be able to one way. It's locked. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. All right. So Milton's dead. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. And since the death, it has been vacated very quickly. Huh. Alright. Let's, uh... Keep looking. What about this? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. I didn't want to open that. I wanted to do this. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara along with the rest of the house. So Sven made this house. Hmm. I'm guessing the blonde haired woman is Edith. I'm the baby. And uh, my brothers. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's a bit creepy. That's kind of... Oh, the yes, The fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Well... Nice bit of uh, nice bit of uh, a nice touch. There we go, for lack of a better word. And I like this table too. This table is very nice. Although I can't imagine you'd cut your shit on that a fair few times. But yes, mate, look at this fucking tallies, lad, in it. Fucking old dickhead. I'm gonna watch some fucking bear fucking music on that shit, yeah. The anyway. table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. <laughs> I can fall and believe that. Oxygen? The breathing mask, I suppose? Clearly the person was, uh, old. And this furthers my point here. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Okay, so Edith was the old woman. Well, I should have really deduced that from the uh, 
from the name itself, Edith. It's a bit windy out there, but them grass textures aren't even flinching. So it mustn't be that windy. Right, back to the kitchen and let's uh, head upstairs. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> so I'm sure it's quite the rambunctious type. That's Edith, that's Edith wearing a mask, I suppose. Edith again. Actually, I don't think that'd be Edith. That was a bit recent to be Edith. Maybe Mil. I don't. No, that's not Milton. Must be the other brother. Milton had long hair. Man, yeah, chocolate Labrador as well. Sven and Edie, so these were the uh, homeowners, I suppose. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. So she was an artist. So what does this say? It can't be set too far away. Gregory Calvin Wow, he died young, 11 year old What about him? He was less than a year, unless he doesn't live here anymore Oh man, Edith was old Where's my room? Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Okay, so she was the popular one. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Hmm. Let's go check out his other rooms. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. So this was the bathroom. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Let's have a seat. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. 
reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <laughs> like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. So this was Molly's room. Look at her, okay, so she was quite the adventurer. Quite not the starfish. She was quite the scientist as well. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. fucking fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. <laughs> yeah, you best not eat me, old fuck. That's what the fish is thinking. You better not fucking eat me. I kept eating and eating. My Halloween candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Ow! Oh it's late. Go to sleep. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Okay. I don't know if she's having a dream. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Fucking dinner, bitch. Yo, yo, you're my fucking dinner. Get, get, get in, fuck you, my fucking dinner. Come here. I jumped and I almost got her. Oh, see, even, even I'm getting pissed as a fucking cat. Come on, you're my fucking dinner. Come here. Come, I could tell she was getting oh, really fuck. tired. Come here, you fuck. You're mine. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Sorry. that I wouldn't climb it anymore. Right, All you fucking I cared about was eating that mama bird. Just, just fucking went so you're mine, you fucking little scrawny ass bird. You're gonna be my next fucking meal, you feel me? Come here, right? Come, you fucking mine. I gobbled her up. Come here. Yeah, got you now, you fucker. If I'm dead on Suddenly, I was an owl. First, yeah, I'm not all dreaming. I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Looking up and seeing mine through my talons. A 
I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A mama rabbit. Come here. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. off a cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Your ass is man for supper, boy. I wanted fat, juicy seals. She's been fucking psychotic. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. She's fucking psychotic. Everything had changed. My worm. I'm a fucking worm. Am I an octopus? I think I'm an octopus. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I got closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, 
I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. So she's into war. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. I wonder why. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We got along, and it was a good place to hide from my mom. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Hmm. Since the old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire, she was fucking hardcore. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Some Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Hmm. Interesting. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Very interesting. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. And it's fucking horrible. It was a pretty big trace.
There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Calvin Finch. It's a dark room. Sven gave Sam photos. an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I can see. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. It's like the room is split into two halves. Two command center. It's got a charm to it. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Calvin, get us ready. Coming. But that day. He finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. So if I'm being quiet, I'm just gonna take this in. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Up the fucking cliff. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Fort Sam. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. So you fought in the war.
What else is in here? I'm kind of lost. What's this? Okay, so this is an enlistment. I don't know. September 1961, so this house hasn't been it. What about this? Passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Okay, so that leads in there, so it's like a shortcut. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. To not be wanted or loved. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara oh, got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right okay. on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Fucking 
freaky now. But it's just a company. Uh... The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Faggot, fuck you, motherfucker. Get your fucking sense over, you fucking dickhead. Fucking sense over, you twat, you fucking dickhead. Fuck you. Fucking dickhead, right? Yo, stop playing these fucking games, dickhead. I'll fuck you up, fam. Come here, cunt, and I'll whack your fucking teeth in, mate. What you? Fuck you, cunt. Oh. Just what you get. Relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and... She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep. Watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Ironic. Yo, this fucking skeleton chant shit, yo, what you seen? I'm bulimic and fucking shit. Fuck you, you dick. Fucking so shaded cunt. Okay, that scared me a little bit, not gonna lie. Right, which one of you fucking pipsqueak cunts has annoyed me now? Walter, are you there? Fuck you, you dickhead. <laughs> Orca's Island Police describe the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Oh yeah. Right. She played her part beautifully. You know what I would do? I'd fucking jump from there onto him, make sure he's fucking dead and break his back. I'd make sure. I wouldn't go down the stairs. I'd just go yeet and jump straight onto him but my fucking force. Like the logical thing. Like the logical person would. I bet he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, I called it. He's gone. The hookman had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was... Ring a ding ding con. Let's have a see. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. You're getting raped. <laughs> Surprise her! For Barbara, it was a dream come true. 
and she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. See if we can do anything about uh, opening up any secret passages. There's got to be one in here. I'm guessing this case here. Bill Bunton is Bigfoot. I don't know who that is. Wow, we even had dolls of her. My friend Bigfoot lunch boxes. I have Bigfoot plates, fan mail. She really was fairly popular. Funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Well, I guess I gotta hop back in. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Head to the basement now. That's a pretty good. Mom said the basement was off Spence limits. Workshop. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Spence workshop. Let's have a look around. Let's have a gander at this lad's work. So he was he was building the dragon slide. When he uh, died, unfortunately, he was a carpenter by trade by the looks of things. A cure, putty, uh, primer, house paint primer. Rainbow glory, <laughs> zebra. Yeah, I'm guessing all this will be his... Uh, 
tools. Not a surprise. Looks like he was still under construction as well, unless he likes the aesthetic of it being under construction. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Come on, open up, open up. I, I can't see shit. I remember asking oh, okay. mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in a all these stories, a bonker. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. A doomsday bunker. Plate there, radio, what's this? Can't read any of that, it's too blurry, even on my 4K TV. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. You've been living in that for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. It's Having a schedule, features. living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. You'll be severely malnourished. Stay bunkers away out. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left, or a month, or a single week. I'd be happy with one little thing. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh, fucking hell. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here.
I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or which shut away. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Okay, so... I'm guessing this is Edith talking, Edith Jr. But I thought you should know about your family. He did senior, sorry, not junior. And the history you're a part of. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible so well crafted game says it's an indie game yeah, but what well, I'm guessing is a relatively small studio they really put effort into this to the environment, the looks of the game, the I feel of it. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Everything just seems what to work. What kind of family and finishes give... building a cemetery before starting the house? And I've got to give props, because this game looks incredible. It's, it's really embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oh. So it was zerpy, lerpy, furpy, chirpy, burpy, derpy, derpy junior. <laughs> So I'm guessing these were all girls and these were actually no it couldn't be because yeah Tucker's there and I'm guessing Tucker's a boy name. But these are all boy names, so I'm guessing that this side, regardless of Tucker, are all female and male. Bailey not too sure on, but with it being the same a time frame, I'm guessing it was a male. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. <laughs> oh no! It 
this one just got to me. Oh no. That's tragic. This one in particular just got to me. Why this one? I guess... Well, I've got two cats, so I, I guess that would be the reason. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. This game, it's depressing. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Tune in tomorrow to watch me play Days Gone on hard difficulty in preparation for the DLC that was confirmed by Ben Studio to come There's out in so June. Many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Got hiccups now. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Okay, so this isn't Edith Senior or Junior either, then who is this? Who was writing the journal? Well, it probably is Edith Senior, to be honest. I, I don't know. I forgot. I forgot. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Hmm. They were both pretty intense. I can see. He was clearly he, he was clearly a hunter. Only for the hunter's life. This family was also they must have been really rich. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh, he was a hunter. It's no surprise. Ah, oh, that's a cute cat. Oh, he had a fucking banging TV in here, though. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. I'm guessing this would be a radio or a portable TV. I'm not too, sh not too certain. Who is Kay though? Guess I'll find out. Yeah, he must have really lived for the hunter's life. But I have no idea where to go now.
Oh, right, I should have seen this. Alright, it's a bit of fun or thing I'll look at for tonight. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Oh, didn't finish trail map. Uh, get a nice cinematic shot. Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Oh, right, there you are. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. <sighs> Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff. If you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Shot. Let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. Great shot, Don! Proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Hang on, kiddo. Just trying to get a shot of the two of us together.
it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Dom. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad! Oh! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Alright, thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Desa Beast. I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> 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 Fuck.